Number 15, explain why a sample of pure water at 40 degrees Celsius is neutral, even though its H3O plus concentration is 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. And then they tell us that the KW is 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th at 40 degrees Celsius. Okie dokie. All right, so they're asking us to explain. So basically we have to write words um, for this, but I will show you uh, the answer to this question in terms of formula and calculations. So if you need to add any extra wording, just take the words of this video and just write them down, basically. I just don't want to waste your time, you know, writing down words. It takes a long time for me. But anyway, here we go. So we have pure water, right? And pure water is H2O. Now, we need to basically know one thing uh, for this whole chapter, right? And what is H2O? Well, H2O is water, and generally, water is neutral. Right? We know that water is neutral. It's got a pH of 7. 7 on the pH scale is completely neutral. Now, how is this compound neutral? Well, remember the two ions that make up water, right? The split, when we talk about water, is not H and O, but the ions that make H2O is, if I write H2O just a little bit differently and I say HOH, technically there are two hydrogens here and one oxygen, and this is where the split is for water, H plus and OH minus. Now, H plus is called hydronium. Hydronium. And the OH minus is called hydroxide. So if you want to know any acidic component of something, you always look at the H plus. The H plus, aka hydronium, is the acid component of water. And the OH minus component, hydroxide, that's always the base component. Now, if we're talking about water in general being neutral, but we just realized that, you know, water has both acidic properties and basic properties. It's got the pure H plus and the pure OH minus. But if it's neutral, that means that whatever the amount of acid it has is the same amount as the base. So that means that the amount of H plus that you have in water is the same is the amount of OH minus that you have in water. So technically, in theory, these should be equal to each other. Now we just have to figure out, um, you know, in uh, math terms, calculations, also why it's neutral. Well, I just want to point out here, guys, that they told us that we had an H3O plus concentration of 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th. And just know that H3O plus... And maybe I won't slur that up there. There you go. H3O plus is the same as H plus. The difference between these two is that H plus is written in terms of only one water, just like we did here. H3O plus is assuming that you have two waters reacting with each other. But they mean, in theory, the same thing. Now, they said that for both of these, right, we have 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh, molarity. So if it's neutral and we have this amount of concentration, 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity, and maybe I'll put that down here, right? So at 40 degrees, they said that the hydronium concentration was 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. And if it's neutral, that means that it should equal to the hydroxide. And the hydroxide would be the same amount, 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity. But we just need to make sure that this is true. And this is where our lovely first formula of this chapter comes into play. It's a super, super, super important formula, and it's this one right here. Kw equals H plus times OH minus, the two components of what water is, and the W in KW stands for water. So this is the 
uh, we could say equilibrium constant. Remember, big K's last chapter, we talked about equilibrium constants, but now we're just dealing with water. Water has both H plus and OH minus. And just remember that H plus is the same as H3O plus. So they told us the KW value. They told us that this was 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th. And they told us that the H plus was 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh. So in essence, we could find out what the OH minus is. And hopefully, we get the same number. So let's give it a shot. 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th equals the H plus concentration, 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th, and then times by X, right, which is the base component. Solve for X, we just got to divide by the 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th on both sides. And let's see, this goes bye-bye, Calc's out, 2.9 times 10 to the negative 14th, divided by 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th, drum roll please, ah, would you look at that, <laughs> every time I say that I always think of that YouTube video, would you look at that, and we get 1.7, <laughs> I even forgot the equal sign, I'm having too much fun, this was the OH minus concentration, right? And this equals basically 1.7 times 10 to the negative seventh. And that is in molarity. And there is your explanation. So we could explain it in terms of talking wise, whatever I said. If you want to write down some key things that I basically said when we discussed H plus needs to be equal to OH. But this is the check. We did the formula and it came out to be the exact number. So that's why. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.